We always have been asking ourselves the question, why when we order a pizza that needs to be prepared, baked, packed, and delivered, it gets delivered in 45 minutes, but when we order a retail item that is laying on the shelf in a store just next door, it takes like four to five days, right? I think uh, what happened after the pandemic uh, was a must for the retailers to go and to transform into selling uh, online and introducing their e-commerce uh, channels. And what was really interesting there is that people, they thought, especially the retailers in the beginning, that e-commerce will compete with the brick and mortar stores and it will be a replacement for their physical expansion. However, what we are seeing now, actually these physical stores are acting as their competitive advantage because they are giving them the accessibility to deliver orders faster than any other marketplace, right? Who have centralized warehouses and they're running their operations. So the way how we work with the, with the retailers is we enable them to connect their e-commerce platform into auto and then auto will act as the connector between the physical stores and the warehouses and the shipping companies as well. So we have integrated with more than 190 shipping carriers. So once you place an order, Auto will be, uh, will be able to take that order, assign it to the best physical store in terms of the inventory availability and the customer location, and then send that with the best bullet delivery company and deliver it within half an hour or one hour instead of uh, four to five days, and also enable the retailers to automate all of their shipping operations. So the key thing that we're thinking about here and we're, we're talking about, in, uh, about it here is one, reducing the operational cost. You don't need to hire more people to run your e-commerce operations. You can actually rely on your team who are already there in the physical stores and decentralize these uh, volumes into uh, uh, these uh, physical shops. Also incre increase the conversion rate. Uh, a very interesting uh, study shows that 70% uh, of the online consumers, they leave their uh, shopping carts mainly for the high shipping fees and the late delivery time. So if we can provide our retailers with better shipping fees and we can reduce the delivery time, this can um, uh, result on a better conversion, which is again another challenge for the retailers, which is how can I sell more using my uh, digital sales channels. So doing that usually to transform and to provide this kind of like Amazon-like experience would require either you're gonna develop it in-house and spend uh, millions of dollars and uh, uh, hundreds of thousands of, uh, of hours of your team to do this, or you can rely on third-party companies that will just build different pieces of that solution, which you will end up having six, seven different technologies that are not well integrated and they're not working together properly, or you can just make your life easier and use auto that will provide you with a complete solution from one single dashboard. Well, definitely not. Um, today, selling online is, uh, is an important uh, channel. Uh, today, we're talking about accessibility. So the consumer behavior is, is changing. Uh, today, when we think of a product, the first thing that we do is that we take out our mobile phones and we start searching for that item, right? We don't just go to the uh, shopping mall area or uh, just uh, go to Google Maps to see who's the available uh, store to do this. So therefore, I think selling online is a must for the brick and mortar retailers. And what's really important now is to implement the omni-channel concept. Okay. So to be able to sell online and fulfill offline, to be able to sell a product online and return it offline if needed, uh, to be able even to buy something offline and maybe return it online. So bridging that gap is, is uh, very important. And I think why it's uh, crucial for the uh, retailers these days is because of the data, right? Today, when we go to a certain shop, we might take one item from the shelf, see the price, put it back because we don't like the price or I don't like the quality. And still, you won't be able to know why I entered that shop and why did I leave without buying anything. However, when we digitalize that through e-commerce, you get to know what are the products that people are looking to buy and why they are not buying. What is the reason? Did they leave it for the price? Did they leave it for the quality? Did they leave it for the shipping fees or the, um, or the delivery time, etc.? So you get to get more insights about your customers. That will help you develop more products and better products in the future. So selling online is not just important for you to survive. It's also important for you to grow. And this is what all the retailers should be looking for today.
I think it's the, uh, I mean, the next generation, by the way, they want everything to be like this, right? So 57% um, of the online consumers in, in GCC, they expect their online orders to be delivered within 24 hours, right? So the new generation, they just want the orders to, to come in as soon as possible. And that's why quick delivery is, is a must, right? And, and we started seeing uh, the changes, uh, maybe on the grocery side, on the FMB side, because you're dealing with uh, what I would like to call the hungry people, which is the hungry and angry people, right? So these hungry people, they really want their food to, to come as soon as possible. But the same is happening now with the retail. Uh, when people think about getting something, they would like to get it as soon as now, instead of just like waiting three to four days and then going through the hassle of following up with a shipping company and then try to schedule for the pickup time or the delivery time, which creates a hassle. So, and what's really interesting here is that quick delivery doesn't mean increasing your shipping cost. Um, if we think about it, before when we talk about the typical shipping companies, their model is, if you want your document or your item to be shipped fast or express, you usually pay more, right? So if I would think of a graph, usually if we say like the time is very short or long, the cost will be high and then it will start dropping. So if you want it to be delivered faster, you have to pay more. But think about how things are changing with the gigs uh, economy, with the uh, ride hailing, with the quick delivery. It's actually the opposite. When the item needs more time to be delivered, you actually pay more. So if the store is very close to the customer, you pay less. If the driver has to drive for a longer distance, you need to pay him more. So the graph is completely the opposite. And this is where it becomes very interesting. So when you introduce a quick delivery or quick commerce, to your, to your sales channels, you will be able to deliver your items in a faster time and still pay similar or might be even less than what you are paying for the shipping companies to do a next day delivery in the same city, right? So that is changing. And the tricky part here would be, how can I work with these bullet delivery companies and the shipping companies and how can I assign orders between them, right, in order to enable the quick uh, commerce and also the traditional e-commerce delivery, either inside cities or between cities. This is where auto is basically bridging the gap because within our solution, you will be able to connect with all of these shipping providers, set different shipping rules, and assign the orders to them to make sure that you are keeping the shipping cost uh, managed and uh, without increasing your shipping cost, you can actually enhance the delivery time. I mean, I have a special relationship with the RLC, by the way. Uh, I have attended the, the first edition when it was in Riyadh. And by that time, Auto was just an idea and we were just getting started. Uh, so I still remember trying to network with the audience, telling them about our idea, trying to assess if the pain is there or not. Uh, on the second edition, we actually launched our services and we started recognizing a couple of our clients attending the, uh, the event. So we were like still growing as, as, as a small startup and now we just acquired a few companies. Today I'm very happy to see Auto sponsoring the RLC. <laughs> so, and also we're like uh, presenting our solution, working with giant clients across uh, the kingdom and the GCC and the MENA region, being the largest integrator for shipping services across uh, the MENA region and uh, 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 expanding more into different regions. And, and I see like how RLC is kind of like always a checkpoint, right? You go there, you assess your knowledge, you assess your understanding to the latest trends in, in the retail industry. Um, you meet with the retail leaders uh, where they get to know one, your solution, what you are doing, and uh, help you to introduce it to different uh, clients. And as a 100% remote company, it's a place where we, we fly the team in and we meet them sometimes for the first time physically. Uh, I mean, we have the team here on the, on, the, on the backstage behind the camera and they're meeting for the first time in, in the RLC. So RLC is, is really has a special place in my heart. Uh, it's, it's the right people, uh, the right time, solving the right problem when it comes into the, the uh, retail industry.